she said all of the sudden this grayness lifted i realized i had been defrauded of everything oh man the scammers listen the scammers the scammers work hard work hard right what do you say that's hard to come back from right <laughs> man at 75 losing six hundred and sixty one thousand dollars at 75 now she felt guilty she feels guilty because now she felt like she can't leave that money to her children i mean six hundred thousand dollars i mean i don't know how much of that you can really leave to your children especially if you she's like a traveler so she likes to be in the air and go to this place and go to that place if anything she was probably the most heartbroken about not being able to travel like she was she identified with being a traveler <laughs> funny story a year later right last year 2022 so after she had been scammed after she had sued the bank so she books a trip to north dakota or something like that she makes it all the way there and right as she was getting ready to go on her excursion she seized up and like the right side of her body like locked all the way up because she was she was nervous that she was getting ready to spend some money Woo, man can you imagine like the anxiety the trauma the ptsd Woo. it is not safe <laughs> it's not safe what does gail say the bank should have definitely contacted that account holder just <laughs> off know your customer just off the, the know your uh, customer policy